Bonsoir. Bonjour. Thank you and uh, good afternoon, early evening here in Paris. We don't know anymore if it's afternoon or evening and it's getting a little dark outside and hello to you guys in Abidjan. Great for uh, congratulations on that great uh, site. So in the first part we talked about uh, orienté vers les techniciens, vers les développeurs. Uh, what, we, what was available for developers and technicians? Uh, not necessarily me, I'm a legal person. Voilà, à part le droit. So, except for law, um, there is not much that I'm really interested in. Uh, except, except for the fact that we, that law is everywhere. Um, you may not necessarily be conscious of this, but law is everywhere in everything we do. So when I was asked to come in and talk about the legal conditions um, when registering addresses, my initial reaction was no, I'm not interested in that. So instead of talking about legal, the legal conditions, I'm going to show you how to do a registration. And you will see that the, the, the legal conditions will appear automatically. And so let me show you how this works. Um, as a matter of fact, something quite important happened yesterday in the uh, Frogans uh, deployment technology. The, 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 it, uh, having public sites be, became possible yesterday. So far, we talked to uh, trademark holders. We told them you can uh, register Frogons Networks with your name. Then we talked to companies. We told them, OK, once again, you can register dedicated Frogons Networks. But uh, now, for the first time, we are addressing the general public. Anyone, you, me, uh, anyone can register a Frogons address. And that is wonderful. Um, it could be anyone. So, for example, me. So let me give you a demo of this. This is. Uh, typically what a uh, Frogan's address could look like. So the... Uh, so you, you see right before the star, you can see Frogan's is on the right side in Arabic. If it's Latin-based, it, Frogan's is on the left side because we're going left to right. So what you can register and what you can customize is the site name. So how do you do this? Well, you go on fcr.frogans. Uh, I'm just an, a normal average user, um, so I'm going to do it. What happens if I, Thomas, decide to uh, go to the fcr.frogans site? So here it is. So let me put this in French. Uh, it, it is in French. So the second phase of the priority phase is right now. And I can also register public uh, sites. That's what I'm interested in. So I'm interested in the, the general public. Um, so it says public right there. So that's what I'm interested in. OK. So great. Here we are. PFNFA, qui veut dire Public Frogans Network. So, PNFA. Uh, um, voilà. Et donc, la première chose à faire, si je veux... So, the first thing I'm going to do if I, if I want to register an address is to make sure it is available. So, what's the address I'm interested in? What do I want? And, and this is actually a question. Give me an idea. Anyone. Not Thomas. Try to come up with something a bit more original. Las Vegas. Great. That's a great one. Las Vegas, le nom de cette boîte de nuit à Valras Plage. Las Vegas, which is a nightclub in the south of France, right? You knew that. Frogans Etoile, Las Vegas. So, Las Vegas. Action exécutée, je vois que ça a marché. So, I've just executed and it says it's not available. Too bad. So, I'm not going to hunt whoever this is down. Uh, I could. I could find who has actually registered um, using the who is function, but I, I'm not going to do this now. So, any other suggestions? Another name you can think of? Sex. Alors, sex, je sais d'avance qu'il est déjà pris. Sex. I know sex is already, is already registered. I know it. Pas chaque club. 
Rogan, c'est... Oui, alors attention, parce que je ne suis pas euh, propriétaire du Pacha Club, et Pacha Club, c'est un peu identifiable. Pacha Club. Well, I don't own the Pacha Club. That's, uh, that's a night club. Because I... This is important. I mean, I mean you, I, you can't put anything, because I will be the holder. Google, Google is a brand I don't own. I'm not the chairman of Google. It may, I may be one day, but it's not the case right now. So, parasol, which means umbrella in French. Parasol um, est disponible. Parasol. It is available. Great. So let's do it. C'est épique. Donc, alors, maintenant. So let's. Là, dans, cette, euh, dans cette partie euh, publique et je me dis il faut que j'enregistre um, see how this works uh, once again you need to register okay so this is pretty much my the, the extent of my technical knowledge entering a word in a form so far so good now when you actually want to register a Frogan's address what do you have to do well you need to talk to an FCR administrator uh, we've seen in earlier presentations that uh, c'est quelqu'un qui l'est déjà et pas seulement en puissance. Et il se trouve que euh, nous avons... That there are administrators out there. There happens to be uh, an administrator. Jinkit is one of our partners. Uh, we'll see them uh, a bit later for the awards. There is Aurélien. He is right here, first row. Uh, Aurélien, hello. Bonjour à tous. Hi. Voilà, et c'est donc à Jinkit que je vais confier. So I'm going to ask Jinkit to do the registration of Frogan's Star Parasol. And this is where it gets legal. Remember, you can't just, I can't register Google because it's someone, someone else's brand. I'm not entitled. Las Vegas is already taken. Um, someone else registered it, which means I can't. But... I'm now going to uh, use the services of a company, an intermediary, who's going to do the work for me. Therefore, I need to sign a contract with Jinkit. So I need to sign the terms and conditions. Of course, I've read them. I've read the terms and conditions, and I have accepted to comply with their terms and uh, conditions, and I know that they will comply with my requirements. It's important to have a relationship of trust, which means that whatever I ask them, they will do, and whatever they ask me, I will do. Whatever I ask them to do, they will do. And they will do right. This is really important. They need to do it right. I won't do a lot of the things myself. I will expect them to do it and to do it right. So as an account administrator, they have different tools available. L'opérateur du FCR, donc... The FCR operator, where the name is going to be registered, is uh, providing SDKs. So um, I don't know exactly how they do it. I don't know if it's PHP or Java. Uh, that's the extent of my, you know, uh, computer science knowledge. Um, but they do whatever they want. Um, if one day, well, I guess one day they might give me a the possibility to enter an address uh, through uh, and through Jinkit, I'll, I'll be able to uh, implement it in the FCR. But right now, I just expect them to do it for me. So with that, let's see, where are we? Ce qui me donne donc l'occasion d'expliquer que... Let me explain. Let me give him. Let, let me give this guy a mic because there is an important sentence. Thomas, if you want to register a public address, um, address on, a, on, a, on a public domain, you have to ensure. You have to confirm to you that you're going to comply with the Frogus Technology Charter. Um, Merci. Alors, par chance, je... Okay, very good. So I know the user, uh, the Frogos Technology Users Charter because I've written part of it. <laughs> I also know the specific terms and conditions. I know that we're in phase two for companies, the registration period in phase two for companies. And therefore, I know that I'm not uh, entitled to register a name that is going to uh, uh, interfere with uh, uh, another business's or company's uh, affairs. I know that with Parasol, uh, 
je serai l'éditeur de ceci. I will become the publisher and editor of this, which means I will be responsible for all the content published under Parasol. So far, so good. No sensitive content, but I guess if it uh, one day contains sensitive content or adult content, well, you, you, don't, you never know. Um, if, if, if one day it contains adult content, I would have to declare that content and I would have to make sure that people who do not wish to see the content uh, to block it. And if in a country, for example, parasols or umbrellas are prohibited, which is not the case, but it could be, um, um, I would then have to make sure that I can block access to people who are living in that country to my um, umbrella or parasol site. Um, how unfortunate for them. That's my responsibility. Again, I am the holder, the owner of the address, and therefore I uh, have to comply with the rules. I found the Frogons Technology User Charter or Agreement. Well, don't click on it because it's, it's, it looks pretty scary. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to click on it anyway. <laughs> My account administrator has two questions for me. Yes, I want to make sure that Parasol is... Do you want to register it in the Latin language category? Oh, yes, absolutely. I looked it up in Frogons Star. So Frogons Star is the Latin-based uh, set of languages. I don't know if Parasol could be written in other, uh, with other um, writing uh, characters. I could translate Parasol into Chinese, but... Um, so I guess my answer to your question is yes, Latin languages. <laughs> and for how many years would you like to register your name? Okay, that's a thorny question, because that comes down to money. How much does it cost per year? Well, the price is 10 euros, exclusive of tax for a public, to, with, with, with the fat included, that would be 12 euros. Okay, I have 20 euros. Here we go. I'll take one year. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I owe you 8 euros. Um, I'll give you your change later. Sounds good. So we have. No, I, I now have a one-year um, uh, subscription. I think you were supposed to ask me one more question. Uh, right. I'll let me think about it. <laughs> so what? <laughs> okay, that's the uh, that's the agreement. Would you like to make any comments? Well, sur le fait que cette charte, pourquoi? This agreement or charter. As you just heard, I have to subscribe to, as you can, looking at the, the table of contents here, uh, if you read English, you can see that all the users, all Frogons technology users are listed, which means if in section 2.1, these are uh, holders, um, Frogons holders, you have obligations um, and rights as well. So the priority registration period is somewhere else. So what is important with this is um, that no matter how you use or what you use, the, the account administrator has obligations as well. And as a holder, I have obligations. But uh, once I publish my site, there will be obligations uh, as well. Etc. And so on, and so on. Mais c'était pas là-dessus qu'il fallait revenir spécial. But this is what I wanted to talk about. Okay. I said I accepted this charter. I accepted uh, dispute resolution. The dispute resolution section. So we have a dispute resolution process for Frogan's addresses, so I accepted that in case of dispute, the parasol brand or umbrella brand could, if it ever existed, could have claims. And I accept a proceed, a pr to be tested to prove my good faith. 
I don't see how my good faith could be challenged uh, by registering a name that means uh, sunshade and which is uh, because I was born in the south of France. Okay, thank you. You gave me your business card. I'm collecting your personal details. You were talking about Wiz, so I need to key in some info about you. Yes. We've not done it live because it's not necessarily of great interest, but all my contact details are going to appear in the WIS database of the FCR once you've signed the charter. If you accept and comply with the charter, you accept your contact details to be published. If anyone wants information about my parasol uh, address, they'll get my contact details, my email address, my phone number in case of a problem. So the potential holder of a parasol potential brand, before he takes me to court, he can uh, call me and we can try and find an amicable settlement. I have a last question for you, Thomas. Do you want third parties to be allowed to index the Frogan's Star Parasol address? No. Very good question. I can decide otherwise later, but right now I don't want this because, um, you know, that's my own personal choice. At the moment, I won't put any content on this. Maybe later it will be interesting for me to be in search engines, but right now, no. Okay, congratulations, Thomas. Your Frogan's Star Parasol address has just been registered. I want evidence of that. Alors, me voilà sur ma oh, okay, that's my request that I'm going to modify. Attention, roulement de tambour. Drums, and there you go. I am. Et je peux, je peux. Congratulations. Euh... And I can even go one step further. Okay, that's your very personal information. Okay, so now what happens if anyone wants to know anything? I remind you that we are... Uh, there is a video streaming in two languages all over the world. And by the way, this allows me saying that if you've not had time to take a stream... A, a screenshot of Thomas' personal details, you can uh, write down his personal phone number by uh, watching the video that will be available online. Okay, so we see that there is the identifying number of Jinkit and then all the information which, is, um, which you can see on your screen. So, actually, there is one step missing here, because how would I have been able to know that Aurélien had decided not to record, to register this name in my, on my behalf without asking me before, because he was doing any wanted he wanted. So I received a confirmation request. So I have this email. That's dear Thomas Penno, a request was made in your name. Um, I, they tell me that there is a request for information and they ask me to send a token, which is here. Can you email it to me? Well, the easiest thing for me to do right now is for me to forward it to you. So send it to fcr underscore aa at ginkit dot fr. There you go. Does anyone know how to operate this device? Where do I confirm? What is this, people? Suspense. Et voilà, cette fois, there you go. 
Il est certain que je suis le titulaire de Frogan's étoile. I am the holder of Frogan's star, star parasol. So I just approved. I accepted. I gave my electronic signature. I sent an email confirming my consent. And this has a legal value. So without doing anything, just using the charter, I signed a contract with an account administrator. I also accepted a whole series of contract relationships by the charter. I accepted a dispute resolution charter, and I committed to becoming a publisher, and I have uh, Frogan's, uh, Frogan's responsibility with regards to future users. Et donc pour les and for dispute resolution, I guess that's the next step. So we have an easy transition here. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Thomas. First, do we have any questions? Well, thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you indeed. It was crystal clear. So make the most. Thomas is both an end user of the Frogan's technology. He is a content pub publisher because he is the owner of a Frogan's address. And you have Aurélien, who is an FTR account uh, publisher. So feel free. And Thomas is a lawyer. So if, if you have any legal issues, do that. Um, I'm not interested in dealing with uh, um, parking tickets and, you know, that kind of trivial stuff. But if you have serious legal questions, feel free to ask. May I ask my question in English? Okay. Um, and what if I want to register a Frogan's address, but I don't want to reveal all of my personal information? Ah, c'est une très bonne question. C'est euh, peux-tu la reformuler que je vais, Ah oui, que je vais reformuler. That's a very good question. I'm going to rephrase it. Que, euh, If titulaire ou titulaire I want to hold a Frogan's address and I don't want to publish my information. So if I want to hide and have them in kind of a private mode. So yes, it is possible. That's something we thought about. So if you are an individual person, like you and I, and if we are in a country that makes it possible to have anonymity on your personal details in digital bases, and this is the case in France, and if the account administrator accepts to do so, because yes, it's the account administrator that's in charge of that. It's an additional service that he provides, so he has additional technical work to be an intermediary if somebody wants to get in touch, because the address owner will always be it will always be possible to con to contact the address owner but so yes it's possible but it has to be offered by the administrator il y avait une autre question i think there was another question it was the same question was it okay so english speaking people are quite concerned about uh, privacy Um, thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you, Aurélien. Uh, 